Hey guys and welcome back to episode 11 of Koi Kimo, which is already the second to last episode of this series. So I can't wait to see what we'll get into, considering that we still have a lot of things to honestly explore, but we did leave off on a fairly nice white chocolate date that did however kind of get interrupted and bring up the whole dilemma of society and the age gap and all of that. But yeah, let us just get straight into things. So if you guys want to watch more anime, make sure to check out the link above. I'll see you in the next video in 3, 2, 1, go. Searches. Oh, exams. What do you guys want to do? I mean, you're still so young. I don't think you really need to decide on anything yet. Yeah, what are all your plans? Oh, that's awesome. And so perfect. Yeah, because we've seen her be... I thought she would do something sports related. Fashion design. Ooh, that'd be cool to wear your own friends like fashion brands and design clothing. She she does have the artsy side to her. Why is she getting something that you haven't even started yet? Lawyer, oh, 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 yeah, it kind of does suit you. <laughs> that server, yeah. Who wouldn't be against a child being a lawyer? <laughs> Fair enough. You're not really into that stuff when you're seven. Yeah, that was half joke, half serious. Yeah, I was gonna say, why don't you get into like anime and manga? Yeah, I think honestly the best life advice kind of continuing from this conversation is do what you like doing because you're going to be doing it for the rest of your life. So like, trust me, if you get into something you don't like, you ain't going to last long. And this is like talking from personal experience. So like, make sure you're jumping into something you like. However, huh, it does look like, I don't know, this show honestly takes me in very unexpected directions. I am hoping since it is the last kind of a couple of episodes that probably were already here with the uh, last two episodes but yeah I do kind of want to focus on obviously our main couple but I'm saying that we started out with our friends it might not be the case I'm also not too sure I mean I think the other factor that I was also unsure of whether they'll bring up is the whole parent aspect of things but I think they are going to bring it up this week what was the title's preview i can't remember but i do feel like they're gonna bring up the parents because um rio uh once again mentioned her parents and just like you know um how she oh they go easy on her and that just kind of reminded me of like you know 
how last week Roy talked about is not so great relationship and obviously we know why he does that head on home so maybe we'll we'll finally dive into that aspect and then each some will walk in on or make things 10 times more dramatic possibilities hmm yeah what was the title oh no it was just high schoolers yeah that's why i was just like huh that was unexpected for like the last kind of two episodes Oh, hello, you two. It's an exit. Oh, what does Tamara want to do? Games? Liberal Arts School. Oh. Take a gap year. Honestly, best advice. Oh, well, I know someone very specific that's um, a little older than us that could give us some good advice. But... Huh. I'm kind of surprised that he suggested that. Why? I suck at sketching. Hmm, maybe you can become like a art connoisseur. <laughs> yeah. A curator, that's probably a better one. She should become like a manga assistant. Because you, you can... <laughs> Lay it out or <laughs> shove you down. <laughs> Oof. Oh yeah, he's a photographer. Probably would be helpful to ask someone in like the same kind of What a perfect book just happens to be lying there. <laughs> An art gallery for the new century. Tensions feel high as fuck. You like you haven't even seen the dad's face yet. Oh well, no jokes. <laughs> I guess we have. No. I don't understand. Roy turned out to be a great person. Why are they still so? I guess they just have no cool relationship. Yeah. Feels like the ice age. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, some progress. (laughs) 
Oh no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're talking about a manga. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's That's a big bowl of boo, sweetie. It's tough because this is probably what most people's reactions will be. Talking. <laughs> The sumo toys. Wait, a path would be like a playboy. What do we say? Um. Yeah, I think there's nothing to hide. But it's also a bit of a tough situation. Oh, it's all really clashing down, isn't it? Hmm. I didn't expect. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't tell me the dad's still home. The dad's still home. Oh, no, I don't think he'll be a jerk to it. Oh shit. Oh, I actually do want to hear what Ichika says. He surprisingly did it. <laughs> Why don't you both go with some lovely ladies? I even bought snacks. Make it a big party. Yeah. 
That's a little bit of an interesting combination, isn't it? <laughs> but hey, it works. I want to go to a cherry blossom viewing. So prepared. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. It looks exhausted. <gasps> oh, the mo I thought she made it. <laughs> Still awesome, still awesome. Oh, oh, oh. They touched heads into episode 11. <laughs> Is it edible? Oh, <laughs> just just eat it like a, just eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, didn't even get three second countdown. <laughs> Why would she do that? <laughs> the mom likes to live quite excitedly. No, 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 get, 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 take that one. Oh, well, what will we do with Adaria? You did? Oh, nice! I love the study guide. Alcohol over flowers, noise. It's not a stroller, jeez. Yeah, that's ages. And it was even raining. B without you? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yay. We were so able to smile and talk back then.
But that just seemed to jump so quickly to conclusion. Yeah, they're kind of like cats and dogs. Do we do? Oh, okay, okay. Because we've only seen um Yuriko and the mama. So. And it went fantastically. <laughs> You know what, I think the dad, oh, I don't know. I'm glad that he's finally opened up. Yes. Are you, are you, are you? It's only episode 11. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh. God damn it, master. God damn it. That's it. God damn oh, That just even makes you more mad. Cause, okay, you know, I quite like Masa. I mean, as I said multiple times in the series, I quite like every character, but more Masa. I mean... I guess I guess he didn't know and that 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 was the entire issue. He didn't know. That was the the fact that we got interrupted and then it just cut to the ending as well. Just yeah, just made that situation ten times more worse. However, as I said, we're only into episode eleven, so too quick early for a confession. Really unexpected second to last episode though. Like I didn't expect us to actually explore that kind of mentioned relationship of Roy and his father. I didn't expect to actually see it go down. I thought it was just gonna be something like we knew about, but didn't actually see it go down. But it's surprisingly into episode eleven. We did see it, and like I would honestly say, like I. I think they're just at the state of being so awkward with each other that they don't know how to interact because I think it was kind of rash of the dad to just jump so quickly to conclusion like that and I think that's why he was like surprised but at the same time not surprised and this is what I mean about like they're just so awkward with each other it's like when Ichika's son said like he's a good person Rory has helped her and stuff like the dad smiled as though in a surprising way but in the same way as though like he knew that his son is indeed a good guy like he was happy to hear that that was the case not like something else because you know how we started off with like oh it's you know Roy my son bothering you but then Ichika son was like no like he's been super helpful like he's helped me out so much and like I'm so thankful and he's such a great guy like the dad looked really reassured and happy at the same time like knowing that he knows that there is that side to his son so I don't know yeah based on this episode I think once again they just need to talk it out people just need to talk things out like, even though that sounds so simple it's sometimes the most hardest thing and we can quite clearly see it between the dad as well as Rory just like the whole tension during dinner which was so unnecessary and both of them seem to have their prides that they don't seem to want to drop so yeah I do believe season finale or is this 13 episodes I'm pretty sure it's 12 episodes but if it is 12 episodes it does look like we are finishing off with You're Creepy which is a fantastic season finale of a title so yeah I guess until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you guys for what is most likely the season finale.